In this part of our course, we will learn how to create a train with mountains, hills and rivers for our simulator. After that, we will learn how to paint our train with various textures. We will learn how to add trees, bushes and grasses to our train. Alright, in this step we want to create a train for our simulator. For doing that, uh, initially we need to know what is the train. In fact, uh, that things we can put uh, as a bottom of our level, it's called train or ground. We can download the 3D model of mountain or plane uh, from internet or make it in the uh, 3D Max or Maya or other uh, 3D design softwares or we can design it inside of Unity. Uh, I want to show you uh, something new in the Unity and uh, it is editable object. It's called train. For doing that, we need to come to the game object, 3D objects and train. It is our train, so uh, we can edit it, but as you can see, we cannot change the scale of it, but we can change the position. Also, we cannot change the rotation, only things we can change the position. If we want to uh, change the scale and make the train bigger than uh, the current uh, status, we need to come to the train settings. And in here, in down, we have the mesh resolution, train width, train length, train height. In here, we can put 2000 and 2000. Okay, so it's time to draw some mountains in our uh, train. Why I say draw? Because it looks like drawing a paint and picture but it's making in, uh, train uh, and mountains uh, in exactly that place we have clicking. For doing that, we need to come to the paint train and in here we click on rise or lower train. Okay, we have uh, our uh, uh, brush in here and the uh, and shape of brush is exactly like here we have selected for example a star it is a star and the circle the circle we can change the brush size here look like this oh it is very big uh, look like this still big for us oh that's perfect or uh, we can change the opacity uh, for example, we keep it is here and select the circle uh, with the holding the left button of mouse and draw our mountains in our train. It will be like this. If we want to create some uh, higher mountains, we need to increase the opacity. As you can see, it is faster than before. If we want to remove some parts of this mountain, for example, this part is wrong, we need to hold the left shift of keyboard, then draw that part. As you can see, I can remove it. Perfect. We need to. Uh, we can change the brush and draw some different uh, shape, mix of mountain. Okay. As you can see, they are very keen and uh, very sharp, and so we need to uh, smooth them and make them very uh, soft. Not look like this. Uh, for doing that, we need to change the this status to the smooth height. Okay, keep the 
uh, brush to this one and change the brush and brush and also opacity is the same method in here as well and left click as you can see it's try to smooth our mountains they are our mountain and these are our heels perfect okay well, for example we want to uh, make some uh, reverts in our train for example one river we want to put in here we can create a, a river by two methods one with rise and second is by uh, set height for example in set height we can say okay that part of train we have clicking we will clicking uh, by uh, our mouse will be the height of it equal zero if we put the number 10 in here and decrease the brush size look at this it's try to keep the height of this part as a 10 and change it to 15 it will be look like this okay and we can uh, remove it by zero okay and we can create a river by this one keep the height equal zero then in, in decrease the brush size create a river look like this perfect and also we have a lake in here perfect now we have a waterfall in here and the very aggressive river from here to there okay uh, another part of our uh, job is painting the texture of this train uh, we need to come to the paint train and change it to paint texture in here we have to add some uh, textures uh, into our scene but initially we have to add some assets to our assets folder in the inside of project I have added uh, this package it's called train assets it already has some bushes uh, for trees for this one or also grasses textures as you can see and rocks and texture for ground as you can see they are ready for use and some trees perfect okay now click on our train again and in the paint texture in here we have a uh, train layers click on add layer no sorry create layer okay and we click on um, it's called i don't know forest floor remember the first texture of the train is try to spread all the train and it's uh, you can see is it the texture of all the train okay now we need to add another layer create layer and in here we can add this texture as the second one okay now it's time to drawing again and it is the um, settings of this layer we can add normal map we can change the um, other metallic smoothness of the, the texture in here we 
increase the size of brush. Ah, oh, it's too much. Perfect. And we click on it. As you can see, I'm drawing and painting this train, this new texture. Perfect. And I can change the opacity and make something like this. All right. Something like this. Look at this. The opacity of it is low, so we can add. You've seen these stars, but they are very um, low light and low color. Okay, it's time to add uh, the trees to our train. It is the same like the paint, but we add. We have to add some trees in our scene. For example, I don't know. Add this one. Say more. Okay. It, is, it has a brush size in here and tree density. Look at this. We have our trees now seen with the shadows and other things if we increase the train and uh, the tree density uh, the distance between trees will be uh, very close and we will have a lot of trees in one side look at this and if we decrease the tree density and uh, we in fact we will uh, increase the distance between the and trees and also decrease the amount of trees by one click look at this by one click we have only two or four or something like that by but with higher highest tree density by one click we have a lot of trees okay we can add some other bush now to our scene perfect and look at this it's very beautiful also we can uh, add a specific tree height and tree width for every tree we have selected right now they are random for better scene but we can say okay check off the random and write uh, 0.5 something like that all right now as a final part I want to talk about how we can add grasses and these grasses in fact they are not a 3d model in fact they are 2d objects in our scene and join it to the joint to the train but they are billboard it means they always looking at the camera and you cannot see they are 2d in fact you think you they are 3d and also they have reaction uh, with uh, wind okay add uh, paint details and edit detail add grass here we can add a texture of grass perfect uh, this one and change the color of it and change the minim uh, minimum width maximum width minimum height maximum height I will I will show you uh, later on okay now in, in this empty part and decrease the brush size look at this it is our grasses now I want to change them for example, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, or 1.5. This five, and also for height five, something like that. It's very beautiful. And also we can add some colors to it. 
to doing something for the spring or mm, end of summer I don't know and it's fall autumn okay now we can add another grasses to our scene as well I don't know in here we had some flowers I suppose all right Oh, yeah, very beautiful. As you know, we can change the opacity and change the target strengths here, and we can increase the brush size, and you will see this one with this view. And if we're doing that, it is our train. It's so beautiful. Okay, we can create uh, any uh, train we want uh, by this technology. Uh, however, we can add uh, our trees as a 3D model uh, inside of the hierarchy. For example, by drag and drop. You're going here, um, a trees in here, something like this. And they are object. So we can add animation, we can add collider, we can add any script we want, and they will react with us. But it is not optimized way because it's killing the performance. But it is very useful if you want to create a level which want to uh, react uh, and interactive interactions between trees and uh, our user. Okay, let's go to the next step.